Let the, let the world see that love that comes yes. from you. Father, if we have to suffer, let us suffer for your glory. Amen. Man. Not for ourselves. <laughs> we say these things in Jesus' precious and holy name. Amen. Amen. amen, amen and amen. 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 All right, brothers, I'm gonna catch the rest of this conversation on the on the recording. Y'all okay. be good, stay strong, and stay blessed. Stay blessed. All right. Amen. Hey, hey brother, brother Asa, what I was I was thinking about was that the I wanted to interchange the children of Israel to the Christians that are African Americans who have embraced Christ and have progressed from that 400 years of slavery, you know, in the progression that we have made positively in this in this world, despite the image that people try to put on the african-american you know and the jealousy of when people those who they may claim themselves to be you know christians but they i think there was if you if we talk about the success of from the president for four years eight years obama uh the, the progression that Blacks are making in society, even though some side society wants to paint the gangbangers and the the uh, the people who commit crime. The that I think that Charlottesville people was reacting to a progression that said as if somebody's going to replace them. They did mention Jews, but I think they would mention other people too, right? It was not just. But it's more than just Jews that was talking about, right? In the I think. scripture, I, I, are you talking about in Charlottesville? Yeah, and, I, and I'm saying, because we're talking about that provoking this jealousy, I'm saying that I think there's, a, there's some people seeing we've come a mighty long way. You know, I'm talking about us as, as, a, as, a, as a group of people. Mm -hmm. We do have a, a remnant on that, you know, the outskirts that have been left behind and maybe not want to go forward without Christ. But I'm saying there's a good group that has moved progressively positive forward in Christ. And you can see the blessings that's coming on those embracing Christ and moving forward. So I just wonder, that, does that sometimes kind of feel like provoke things to jealousy too? Because when I read the, that this book here I was telling you about, and in, in, in the, um, I was looking at all the references. There was a time when they didn't even want us to be Christians. They, they, matter of fact, I think I talked about it last week. They didn't want us to be Christians because they said, then if they become Christians, then we got to free them. Right. Yeah. They, 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 because the concept of if you say we're Christian, then we're your brother. And if you're your brother, then you need to feels right right you know what i mean it's it's it's, it's but they want so they try to manipulate the scriptures later <laughs> to justify the actions of keeping these people down for centuries you know for years right and then i think the the wall street that thing that happened in wall street the black wall street was that not a, a what, what would y'all call that it was johnson oh, that, that sounded like that somebody was, was jealous yeah yeah. Well, oh, there's plenty of accounts that you can we can go through, uh, not only history but recent history, yeah, and show the actions of uh, of folks against people of color based on on jealousy. No jealousy. Uh, yeah. And and not only that, just based on stupidity. No, oh, come on now. You know. Uh, Hey, before, before you get by catching your thought, look at that boy that tried to kill those people. Where he killed them at? In that church. They killed him yeah. in the church. Yeah. They, to try and start a race riot. They, they, and, and, yeah. Ain't that something? And, uh, and who they started? They didn't go to the gangbanger, but they scared to go to them, right? 
they went to the, the, the people in the house of worship mm -hmm. praising and studying the word of God this young man I'm just saying is that, that that's the part I keep saying this how this could be interchangeable those scripture we just read you know because these uh, these people claim to be Christian I guarantee that boy claimed he's a Christian they shot those people in that church I bet he was raised I bet he was baptized in a church and they but the same well, it's no in my mind, his is no different than Judas. You know, Judas walked with Christ. Ain't that something? Learned yeah. from Christ. Yeah. And and yet, uh, uh, for selfish reasons. Selfish reasons, yeah. He uh, betrayed him, and and uh, and his actions, you know, though they were prophesied. Yes, sir. Moved. Uh, move the the death of jesus you know we'll put it in action yes sir um this person uh i don't know the gentleman's name but his his actions you know only someone misguided by the enemy could do something exactly such atrocities well, look, you know it, it just blows my mind that this man sat there and and worshiped uh -huh. with these folks yeah. And you know our our, our elders, they are loving mm -hmm. folks. Mm -hmm. You know, accepting. Yeah. Those, you know, of, of like precious faith. And I can only imagine the love they extended out to this this this, this Caucasian brother. Yeah, so and, and yet he still <laughs> proceeded in the manner that he did. Yes. That 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 is that I, I can't even uh, my mind can't even go to the thought pattern or yeah. the, the I don't even know if it was a hatred for he, them people. He was trying to I think it was vain glory he was going after as far as that trying to live, you know get a race war going. Uh huh. Um, and then he wanted to be one of the people that was a captain. Remember you know all those pictures he took before he actually went in and did the shooting? You know, he posted those pictures on Facebook, him with the Confederate flag, the weapon. Uh, he, he, he wanted a war, but I think he wanted recognition and acceptance to that, to the hate group for what he was doing. And then I just want to bring in it that when Jesus walked there, the Sadducees and the Pharisees was provoked to jealousy because of Christ. Mm -hmm. They couldn't accept a miracle. You know, I mean, <laughs> we should bring it up next week. I mean, when that black that, that man was born blind, we should just 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 examine the reaction <coughs> to people we call church leaders. Yeah. It was almost like they wanted to blind that man again. Exactly. Well, they did try to kill Lazarus again. Yeah. They didn't they want to kill Lazarus again. Man. They kicked they him out of the church. Yep, they wanted they to kick him out of the synagogue. They they wanted to kill him. This is a place in there where they wanted to kill Lazarus. After Jesus yeah. rose him from the dead, they wanted to kill him again. A great <laughs> miracle, Kerry. Right. right. Yep. That's what I'm saying is that, that that's how this thing can be so interchangeable to to the plight of, of people that 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 are moving to a Christianity. That accepted Christianity, you know? Well, I think, I think we say that it's, it's like have they accepted Christianity? Do they understand Christ? Mm -hmm. I remember when he was walking with the with the, the two brothers, and they said, "You want us to call down fire from heaven to destroy you?" Well, oh yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't know what's the yeah, you don't know what you what, what spirit you coming from. Exactly. Now we talk, ooh, ooh, I think that's a that's, that's, that's a good now. word, Elder, because ooh. you know when you you actually think about it, right. these people really believe that they are Christians, yeah. that the, their actions are justified. Yes. But it's, as I said earlier, it's the relationship with God. Come on, brother. Now you and talk. the renewing of the mind. Yes, sir. That changes the heart. Come on. And it changes the habits that are brought about 
over the course of that person's life. Yes. Outside of that, there is no true repentance. Without God's word, there is no true repentance. Nope. There is an attempt. Yeah. Yeah, but it didn't work. There's an attempt, yep. but you cannot do it in and of yourself. Right. We can't change without God's word. Yeah, not come on, bro. permanently. Yeah. So it's 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 like the word says, my people perish from lack of knowledge. Yes, sir. That's the whole point. And, and that's why it's so important for word ministries now to put those words up there and break it down precept by precept, line upon line, you know. It's there. It's I there. think the people who are at most distressed by an environment are the ones who have a tendency to question it a little bit more. Uh -huh. I look at black plight in America, and we have been positioned so that we want to know the truth because we're not benefiting from the truth that's already accepted. Exactly. The, the lie that's really out there. And, but unfortunately, our white brothers have embraced those lies and those misconceptions because it has been cardinally beneficial to them. So and they, you know, and they can, I, can I throw something at y'all though? Interrupt you just that it I think the problem I want to throw in there is the danger of what's happened to us is when we say white brothers or black brothers is 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 it's not all. I don't want to make sure that it's, it's everybody I guess people will know that know that, but maybe not. There's a there's a large number of, of of, of white brothers, brothers who love Christ and love you. You know what I mean? They don't have an animosity toward you. They they want that. So so what we have is a we have remnants of people that that have the biggest issue more than anything else. Is that that acceptable? I think when we say it's a remnant, I think that might be a, a it's, it's, it's I, maybe a, maybe a large swath. I don't know. <laughs> It's not all. I just want to make yeah, sure I that the majority of the brothers, them, white brothers out there. The majority of them are going to embrace their culture because that's what they're born into. And it's until they get their minds renewed from whatever it is they were partly positioned in initially that they begin to embrace the kingdom and those who are of the kingdom. And of course, with scripture, my mother and brothers and sisters, those who do the will of my father, which is Yeah, come on, brother. Now we're it, talking. And it, I'm saying that the, the, that's the issue sometimes is it's it is, not it, it, the complexion, because some of the complexion of the people, when the melanin is skin, then some are true believers and don't have animosity. But when we look at the country as a whole, and whether they protested or not, and I said, I think some people, I can't remember what the exact quote is, but if you don't protest it, then you're complicit. You, you go along with it. You kind of promote it. So what we saw in the church, and you said this earlier, was that the church itself promoted racism. It and did. it based you know, on whatever the secular information was that it it, it, it we see, yeah. of them. In reality, it was, it was a lie, and it wasn't in accordance with scripture. Right. And that is what has happened to us as a body of believers, or as a family, or as the kingdom itself, is that we have abandoned scripture and embraced the doctrine of men to move forward. And mm -hmm. you can't do that in the kingdom. You know, the kingdom yeah. does not condone racism. Come on now. It does not condone lying and cheating, and the kingdom does not condone false advertising. I mean, nope. you know, there's so much that we're doing in the American culture that yeah. is against the kingdom. The kingdom literally does not embrace capitalism. Nope. And that is the basis of our, I mean, the foundation of our economic system is at capitalism. You will sell in the bodies and souls of men. We're fighting to get an economy back in place that's killing people, but we yeah. equate people's souls to money. Yeah. That ain't God. It, it ooh, does a lot of ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> And I think to me, the fallacy has been in the past and is even now. One, we didn't know what the scripture said. And two, we're not holding each other accountable for it. And I'm not saying holding the world, account the world accountable. We're not holding each other accountable. Ain't that something? Hey, man, I tell you, I was, I, let me read. There's a script I want you to read for the next slide. Because you know, when I think about Charlottesville, Brother Addison, and, and to say they will not will not be replaced, right? Because I, I mean that's that's why we're bringing social justice here. I want to look at look at this elder which is talking about 
if it kind of lines with what you're saying, this scripture here, check this out, if you don't mind. It's, it's two slides. Romans 11, 17. And if some of the branches are broken off, and thou being a wild olive tree, were grafted in among them, and with them partakers of the root and fatness of the olive tree, boast not against the branches, for if thou boast, thou bearest not the root. 